my name is Kat, and today I will be discussing the Infernal Devices Trilogy by Cassandra Clare. The Infernal Devices Trilogy is made up of Clockwork Angel, book one, uh, Clockwork Prince, book two, and Clockwork Princess, book three. This trilogy takes place in the Victorian era. It's set in London during the late 1800s. After the death of her aunt, our main character, Tessa Gray, travels from New York to London to stay with her older brother. But instead of meeting him at the docks, she is kidnapped by the Dark Sisters, warlocks who hold her captive and train her to use an ability she didn't even know she had, the ability ability to shapeshift into another person at will. The Dark Sisters intend to train Tessa and deliver her to their employer, the Magister, who wants to use Tessa's ability for unknown but presumably evil things. However, before that can happen, Tessa is rescued by a group of shadow hunters, warriors who are dedicated to fighting demons and evil and maintaining order in the supernatural world. Tessa takes refuge with them at the London Institute. And as she searches for her brother and struggles to deal with her new ability and this whole new world she has discovered, she finds herself growing closer to the Shadow Hunters, particularly the two boys her own age, Jem and Will. Working together, Tessa and the Shadow Hunters must find out what the Magister is up to and stop him before it's too late! That is really vague, I know, but no spoilers, just read the book. Seriously, read the book. It was fantastic. I loved this trilogy so much for so many different reasons, and I am going to try to articulate some of those reasons for you now. First of all, the world. I love this fantasy world that Cassandra Clare has created. There's just something so fun and immersive about this world, and it's so well developed and huge. There's so much history. I mean, this trilogy is a prequel of sorts. It takes place over a hundred years before The Mortal Instruments, which is Cassandra Clare's original Shadowhunter series. Before starting this trilogy, I had read only one other book by Cassandra Clare, and that was City of Bones the first book in the Mortal Instruments series. So I did have some knowledge of the Shadowhunter world before starting this trilogy, but I feel like I could have jumped right in with this series. You don't need to read the other series to understand this one or appreciate it. Everything is really well explained and well developed. There is just so much to this world and there's so many great descriptions and it's just so well connected and woven together that I love it. Next, I want to talk about the characters because this is one aspect that surprised me a little bit. I was not expecting to care about these characters as deeply as I did. At first, in Clockwork Angel, I did have some trouble connecting to the characters. This is partially due to the fact that I just personally prefer a first-person narrative, and this story is told in a third-person narrative, which for me sometimes makes it a little bit more difficult to really connect with the characters. But as I kept reading and going through the series, I found myself becoming so attached to these characters, so incredibly attached to these characters. I didn't understand it at first. I cared about them way too much. And not just the main characters like Tessa and Will and Jem, but the other secondary characters. I loved them all and they were all so well developed. At first, a lot of the characters in this series seem very similar to characters in the Mortal Instrument series. But as this trilogy goes on, the differences between these sets of characters are made very obvious. Even though Tessa is the main character and it's mostly her story. All of the secondary characters have their own stories and plot lines going on and like I said before, everything is woven together so well. Now I want to talk about the romance because oh my god, I loved the romance in this trilogy. Because I cared so much about these characters, I was so incredibly invested in this romance. Like, it hurt my heart, it caused me inner turmoil to read about this romance, but it was so good. So good. There is a big love triangle in this series, but 
For me, I think it's my favorite love triangle I've ever read. It was just so uh, emotional and heart-wrenching and angsty. Like, no matter who ended up with who and who ended up alone, everyone was going to be hurting to some degree. And, oh, just my feelings. Like, this love triangle stabbed my feelings, and then I bled feelings everywhere, but in a good way. The other romances in the book were also great. The relationships that some of the secondary characters have. My only tiny little complaint having to do with the romance is that maybe there were too many of them going on. I just felt like more characters ended up with a romantic happily ever after than would be realistic. Finally, I want to talk a little bit about the story of this trilogy. I just absolutely loved this story. You have your main plot and you have so many little subplots and just everything is woven so well together. Cassandra Clare is like a master story weaver. I just loved how the story built and built and built upon itself. And I did think there were some slower parts that dragged a little bit during Clockwork Angel and Clockwork Prince, but Clockwork Princess was spectacular from beginning to end. There is just non-stop action and drama and every chapter switched everything all around and turned the world upside down again and it was amazing. Reading Clockwork Princess was a workout for my heart and my feelings. It was just, oh my god, like reading that book was like getting punched in the face with drama over and over again. All of the action and excitement of Clockwork Princess completely makes up for any slower parts in the first two books because, like I said, this story just builds and builds and builds upon itself. Clockwork Princess just takes everything that was laid out in Clockwork Angel and Clockwork Prince and makes an explosion of awesomeness happen all over. Clockwork Princess was an amazing, amazing book from the pro to the epilogue, which for the record I really loved. I know some people didn't like the epilogue much, but I thought it was fantastic. And now my lighting is weird, so I guess I better wrap this up. Overall, I love, 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 love this trilogy. Definitely a million percent recommend it. If you have trouble connecting to the characters or you feel like the beginning is a little bit slow, just stick it out because it's worth it. You will get invested in the story and the characters and their relationships and I am telling you Clockwork Princess is a thrilling amazing book and you definitely want to read it. Anyways, that is everything I had for this video today, so thank you very much for watching it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you pick up this trilogy if you have not already because you are missing out my friend. Yes, you are. I will have another vlog up soon, so I will see you then. Goodbye! <laughs>